because I'm, I don't do music theater. So that form is alien to me. Not alien, but it's on the other side of the wall, so to speak. I do word theater. Yeah. Right. And you do both. And telling stories or narratives, like Come From Away, right? This story that moves everyone. Telling stories through songs mm -hmm. predated telling stories through words. And there we go with you know, 17th century Italian opera, and here we go to this opera and that opera, and suddenly whatever, and then, and then, it, go, then it becomes music hall, and then there's all this kind of, but the, the, the impulse to entertain and tell narrative through singing, as it were. And here we are in Canada with, we're not being able to build a successful music theater tradition as we think we should be able to, and why isn't that happening? And has that something to do with a Canadian way of addressing, addressing a narrative? Or do we not know our own style? Do we not have our own voice? Has come from a way put our own voice in sourcing a musical theater tradition? We found it in playwriting, you know, uh, up to the 1960s, everyone said, no, there's no Canadian plays, you know, you can't right. be a Pinter, you can't be a Osborne, you can't be a this, you can't be a Miller, whatever, whatever. And then it started in the 70s yes. and people said, no, no, no. And through right. Canadian writers, we have discovered this Canadian narrative voice who we're very comfortable with. But that voice is all over the place in many different styles and many different ways of telling a story. And, you know, they, there is not one Canadian no, no, uh, many, many style. bits and pieces. Do you know to what it. I mean? And but I have, a, and I don't think it should ever, always have to be about a Canadian story either. That's a, a good story, just a good story. Yeah, but Deepa Mehta, uh, the filmmaker, yeah. you know, Indian Canadian, oh. doing Water, set in India, that is a Canadian story. Yes, but. She's Indo-Canadian, but it takes place in India. Yes. But it is a story that in a way becomes yeah. an idea of who we are as a country. So that's kind of what I'm drilling at here. The song story aspect of who we are as a nation, we haven't yet got critical mass on. And we would like critical mass because mm. we want more come from a ways. Yeah, yeah. And is it, I know in terms of word theater, it took us a long time to dig ourselves out from underneath the, you know, the parent of the United States and the Arthur Millers and the parent of Britain and the great writers from Britain. You know, digging yourselves out from those parents until well, you could say, well, okay, here we are. So we're still digging ourselves out, or trying to, from under that humongous Broadway flashing light thing <laughs> that eclipses everything else, you know, basically. But I think it's, it's changing. It's happening starting to bubble it needs to be taken more seriously that's all you know and not f it doesn't need to be fluffed off this is a serious thing and could be big business so why don't we think of it that way and there's Garth Drabinsky opening a musical based on a story that crosses I think uh, communist era times with apartheid in South Africa yeah um, so here's a man with some resources who's, so is he driving, is he chasing the marketplace, right? When you create a story, when you create a music theater story, do you, do you chase the marketplace on it or do you chase what you want to create? Did come from away? Come from producers who said, okay, we're going to create the, the marketplace, we'll chase the marketplace, this would be great, we'll take it to Broadway, or did it come from people saying, no, I want to tell the story? It came from the people caring to tell the story and then touching the hearts of potential producers who also saw, wait a minute, I think this has legs. And where were those producers from? The States? Some from Canada, That's probably from most States. from the States. There is a star system there, always has been. I think maybe here, English Canada has always, you know, been dwarfed by the American market and the British market too up to a certain point you know what happens there television and film wise and stuff we can't compete on that kind of scale or have not and we just why do we assume it's better it's just bigger and more and more money is put towards it and more stuff comes up but we sit in our living rooms and watch it and have been forever you know and I don't know I don't know, that's, it's, 
I think it is changing. I do. I think it is getting better that we are getting more of a voice here and start recognizing it more. But it's pretty tough when the U.S. is right there, you know, and we're flooded.